plate. You got some mushrooms in there too. And then over here, we got a new boy. I've never tried this before. We have the we have this kind of soup. Hello, we're gonna try out the highest rated Japanese restaurant in my town. That's a little mom and pop shop or mom and kid shop, whatever. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys what we got going on here. You, If you like this video better than the chain restaurants, make sure you hit that like button so I know uh, what you guys are on. So let's just get right into it. So first off, we're gonna try this soup. Don't know what kind of soup it is. A little. It's actually not that bad. It's a little. It's not a complex soup. Just got some green onions in there. Some chicken, some beef broth, I think, and some mushrooms. First up, we're gonna go with my favorite shrimp and chicken teriyaki. Beautiful, beautiful plate. God. This right here, I'm not even gonna act like this is my first time. This is far from the first time I've ever tried this, but this is a beautiful meal right here. You got your protein, got your vegetables. Mm. Now, the rice isn't as good as um, uh, banchan. I don't know if you guys watched that video, but that banchan rice, the best fried rice I've ever had in my life. It's a whole meal by itself. But this right here is definitely pretty good. Look at those. Those healthy boys right there. You gotta get you a healthy bite. Mm. You see this? This little orange round son of a bitch right here. This is the best thing about this meal. A carrot. I don't know what they season it with. But it's like, I've been to other Japanese restaurants and their carrots don't smack like this. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what they marinate it with, season it with. Cook it in? God knows. Mmm. Gives you that good, healthy bite. Hold on. Look at that bite. Mm, look at that bite. Yes, sir. Mm. I almost forgot about a little mushroom. This right here. Excellent, excellent meal for recharging after the gym. You got your two sources of protein. You got your carbohydrates to get your energy back. I am not a fitness guy. I mean, I go to the gym every week, but I don't know. I don't do no macros or anything, but all I know is when I'm drained after the gym, this right here put me right back on the horse. I'm really grateful that this restaurant is here because we don't, this is a small town. So we don't have much of a variety. We have like the most variety. Now, our Mexican food, my Cinco de Mayo video is about to be bumping. Because Mexican food, oh, we got that. <laughs> we got that. But like every other stuff, I gotta drive like hella far away. So if you guys ever see me eating some very um, uh, exotic food, just know I had to drive a long way to get that shit. So y'all better like that video. Now we're gonna try the new one. I've never uh, really tried this before. This is a um, hibachi, no, teriyaki scallops and mushrooms. a bite with the mushroom of course add the put, hold up see i learned from last time carrot first then the meat then the vegetables 
This is how you truly experience Kumi Express. Boom. Look at that. That is good. Not as good as that. That's still my main thing, but next I might take you all to my favorite Chinese food spot. Because, you know, Chinese food that's still my number one. Check that out. Mm. Look at it. I like the way the sun hits everything. It makes it look good. It's got a, mm. I've never really had scallops before. This meal, I would give a B. I give it, I give this meal a B because the flavor is good, but the mushrooms, I, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms. I like them on pizzas and stuff, but I would trade that out for maybe like broccoli and some onions or something. And this it's good, but it's got a really fishy flavor to it. I know that sounds stupid. They're just a little more than I would like on a casual occasion, but it is good. Right. So right after this, I'm gonna show you guys the sober noodles. This is from another day. Um, I shot that video. I was gonna make a video on itself, but I figured I'd make a big uh, thing of it, make a little bit of a longer video for you guys. See how you guys like that. Nobody will probably make it to the end, but uh, here we go. Me from uh, a couple of days ago. Soba noodles. Of course, I had to add the carrots on there. They were like, would you like carrots with that? Stop playing. If you don't add the carrots in there, I'm coming through the drive through window. That's a fact. What's the difference between soba noodles and lo mein? Or is it just where they're from? I'm not sure. That might be a dumb question. Mm. This might be a new staple. I'm telling you guys. If you ever find your way to uh, Kumi Express, you gotta add the carrots on everything, bro. Everything. Nice, big, plump, juicy shrimp. Oh, shit. I thought they had all the shrimp at the top. There's some more shrimp down there. Okay. Ah. Mm. And then it comes with this sauce right here. The classic Japanese sauce. I'm not sure what you call it. Is this yum yum sauce? I don't know. It looks like it. Hit it with that one time. Yes, sir. Mm. Do this with my chopsticks. Right here. Spin them around. So then it's easier to eat. Is this a gringo thing to do? Is this a gringo ass thing to do? A Thai dude showed me how to do that. But then somebody else said that that's not a legit way to use them. I have no idea. It is easy though. I'm gonna keep doing it. I just wanna know how cool I should feel while doing it. Let me know if you guys like these, uh, you know, uh, hidden gym type restaurant. So do you guys like the big ones or should I just mix them up? Should I like mix in the McDonald's with the Kumi Expresses? Just let me know by hitting that like button. Uh, whatever you guys like, I'm here for the people. So uh, yeah, just let me know. Uh, hit that like button if you fuck with the video. Hit that subscribe button if you fuck with the overall vibe. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you giving me a little bit of your time. And uh, 
Peace.